Today, I'm going to ask you a very strange question, and here it is. What would have to happen for you to get 30% better at managing your emotional life? And here's the follow-up question. How could that 30% improvement influence the rest of your life? How could it affect your health, your marriage, your parenting, or your career? I'm not suggesting a 50 or 100% improvement. My challenge to you is to start taking steps to improve the quality of your emotional life by 30%. Would that be doable for you? I know that this will be impossible to measure precisely, but at least it supplies you with an achievable vision for improving your emotions. It is a helpful mental construct because it reassures you that progress, not perfection, is the priority. 30% seems significant, yet achievable over a reasonable period of time. I'll leave the time frame up to you, but make sure to set a deadline for reevaluating your progress. Here's a sampling of what readers have told me after using the 4-8 principle to tame their negative emotions. At first, I thought everyone else had changed. Then I realized I had changed. Here's another one. I finally recognized my role in this situation. Here's one more. The man I married has returned. These are the kinds of aha moments you also can expect to surface once you start being intentional with what you dwell upon, especially with the important people in your life. Imagine for a moment the difference an emotional breakthrough could make in the quality of your relationships and in your quest for joy. Will it be worth the effort? I think you already know the answer. This is Tommy Newberry, because mindset makes all the difference.